Today we'll be reviewing the national flag of Uruguay. The review will be done using the five basic principles of flag design as outlined in the book Good Flag, Bad Flag, written by Ted Kay and published by the North American Vexillological Association. Here is a quick rundown of the five principles. We will review the flag under each principle and give a score out of 10 for each. At the end, we will calculate the average score of the five principles, which will give us the overall final score for the flag. Let's begin. The flag consists of nine alternating horizontal stripes of white and blue. The canton has a white square charged with a yellow and brown 16 ray sun with a human face. While the nine stripes are relatively simple, the depiction of the sun is complicated with a detailed ray pattern along with the face. This design makes the flag very difficult to draw accurately from memory. For this principle, the flag scores 0 out of 10. The flag was adopted in 1830. It replaced this similar flag with 19 stripes, which had been used for the previous two years after the country gained independence. The flag was heavily influenced by that of Argentina. It took the blue and white colors as well as the sun depiction, which is known as the Sun of May. It's believed the overall layout was influenced by the flag of the United States. The nine stripes represent the original nine departments that made up Uruguay when the country gained independence. The Sun of May is now the national emblem of the country and was originally used as a symbol of freedom and independence, and this is based on a legend that in 1810, the sun broke out through the clouds in Buenos Aires at the time the Spanish colonies first declared independence. It's believed by some that the Sun of May is a depiction of the Incan sun god Inti. While some of this is good symbolism, we have a couple of issues. There are now 19 departments in Uruguay as opposed to the nine original ones. However, all the new departments were created by splitting up some of the original ones, so it could be argued that all the current departments are represented because they were all previously part of the original nine departments. So for that reason, we're not going to deduct marks for the stripes. The same can't be said of the Sun of May, unfortunately. Uruguay and Argentina have a shared history when it comes to Spanish rule, and while there was a common interest to gain independence, we think it's a big problem that Uruguay copied the Sun of May from Argentina along with the symbolism. As we just mentioned, the 1810 legend of the sun breaking through the clouds happened in Buenos Aires, which is the capital of Argentina. Also, while there is no conclusive evidence linking the Sun of May to the Incan sun god Inti, the Incan Empire extended to part of present-day Argentina, but it was nowhere near present-day Uruguay. Because of the issues with the Sun of May, the flag loses quite a few marks. For this principle, the flag gets 4 out of 10. The flag has four colors. Those are white, blue, yellow, and brown. That's one color more than the recommended maximum of three. Brown is not part of the standard set, while the other three are. Regarding contrast, the blue and white stripes contrast well, and the brown and yellow of the sun also have good contrast. Because the yellow parts of the sun have a brown outline, this ensures there isn't a contrast issue between the yellow of the sun and the white canton. Overall for color, the flag scores 8 out of 10. The flag has no lettering or seals. The coat of arms depicts the Sun of May and it was adopted at the same time as the original flag. The Sun of May is classified as a national emblem and we consider that to be part of this principle. And because the design is complicated, the flag loses full marks here. For this principle, the flag gets 0 out of 10. The flag is distinctive. It's easy to tell apart from the Argentinian flag despite the fact it had a huge influence on it. And it's also distinctive from the US flag which also influenced the design. The closest flag to Uruguay's in overall looks is that of Greece. They both have nine alternating stripes of the same color, though the two colors are reversed. Both flags have charged cantons though the designs on each are very different. In our opinion, these differences are enough to make the flags easy to tell apart. 
For this principle, the flag scores 10 out of 10. So now we review the flag on each of the five principles. We're going to add the scores and divide by 5 to get the average. So for the national flag of Uruguay, we get a final score of 4.4 out of 10.